What's up you guys? So here we are in my dirty shop. Show you how I polish the cars. I think everybody kind of goes about it the wrong way with your little Dremel tools and spending all that time with discs and other things. This is what you want to get. The stand costs more than the buffer did. So you can go to Northern Tool or any of those other places and get this buffer. You're not making your living on it. You're not using it all the time. I think it was like 30 bucks, maybe 40 bucks. It's actually less than the Dremel tool, right? So well, the way I do it, I have two pads. I have my yellow pad and my white pad, right? My white pad is empty. I know it looks this way, <laughs> like I have things on it, but I don't. I use it for cleanup afterwards, right? So I start with the dark on the yellow, right? And then I move into the white, which is actually the final polish. And I do it on the same wheel. I don't switch wheels back and forth. And the reason that I don't is I use the dark, right? And I use it up. I use it up on the pad. And there's a lot of areas on this that you can cut and pull it off and out of the pad before you switch to your next one. So basically, the way I do it is I always start with the driver's side so I know where I am because you do lose track. It, it starts to get polished and then you don't know where you've been. So I do the driver's side real nice, fronts, passenger side real nice, back. And then I just do the top and you can tell where the top is. So it's gonna be gonna be pretty loud. You guys can just watch. Uh, this has been chemically stripped and it's aircraft stripper. In the old days you could get the good stuff that really hurt you and burned you. But then a bunch of doofuses weren't using it right, and so they had to take all the good chemicals out of it. But it still works really good. Uh, the funny thing about aircraft stripper, when you go to the AutoZone or whatever to get it, <laughs> on the back of it, it literally says, don't use on aircraft. So anyways, here we go. We're going to polish. Oh yeah, always wear safety gloves and goggles and everything like that. It's very dangerous because it can come off and get in your eyes. For sure. It's spinning right at you. Okay, so we've got our first pass over the driver's side, and this is what we're looking at already. That's, you know, pretty much one time. Okay, so I'll just leave that for right now. And I'll go ahead and load the pad up again with the brown, the dark, and um, work around. I use quite a bit of it too, really. Use more because there's a lot of edges. Let me do that. You get nice static charge when you're doing this. You go to hit that switch, man, it'll shock you. Okay, so now we've got the two sides basically done. Went through the front, you know, just kind of finish it off. But what I'll do is I'll do one more round with the dark. And when you're doing this, hold on to that sucker because it'll rip it off and throw it on the on the ground. And not only will you get hurt but it'll hurt the car. You'll have a huge gash from it hitting the ground and you'll be done. You'll have to 
quit and start over. So basically, I'm just going to load it up and finish off the tops and make it look really, really cut and nice. And then we'll go to the white. You can tell by the color of the pad whether or not you need to put more on. More on. <laughs> Alright, here we go. You can use the pad to get inside stuff as well. It'll get right in those grooves, no problem. You don't have to worry about getting another tool out. Look how nice that is in there, no worries. You can get in all of the areas, just take your time. Let the buffing compound do the job, not your hands. See how I lay my hands on it and I push it? If it starts to get hot in your hand, you need to move around because you're not polishing anymore once it gets really hot, that you're just moving metal. So hot car means you're not polishing. You're just moving metal around. No good. Back off of it, let it cool. Okay, so now, that's our... My, my pad's basically clean from all of the edges, so I just add my white. We've done it up pretty good. This time we'll go around the whole cart. Okay, so now I... Now I got a little hot on me. I can see that my compound's running out because my pad's turning yellow again, so I'm good with that. A little shock, look at that. So what I'll do is I'll just wipe it down, get rid of as much of the leftover polishing compound as I can. And then, like I said, if you're just tuning in, this pad has nothing on it. It's just a, a nice pad. And what I'll do is I'll I'll use that one to get all the extra out. So this is what we're looking at now. Pretty good. Pretty nice and shiny, right? I know you guys, whoops, I know you guys that have done this with your Dremel tool are just, you're kicking yourselves right now because you spent half a day doing it. But this is why the polished cars are a little bit more expensive. I mean, you see how long this takes to do this. And I still have to take it apart. 
take it apart, put it back together. So now I'm just gonna clean out all of the edges. No compound. And I don't leave it there to try to polish. All I'm doing is getting that extra compound out. That's why you can see the black on this pad. You don't really get it in the edges. Shop. This is uh, Granddad's hundred-year-old shop that I'm in. Someday I'll fix it up nice or tear it down. One of the two. All right. So now what I do is I give it a soapy soap and water bath inside. I'm not going to do that and show you guys that because I'm pretty sure you know how to wash things. But essentially, it's done, and that's what you end up with. You know how nice is that? Isn't that killer? Here's another little love truck that I did before I before you guys got here. You know? So invest in this. Go down to Harbor Freight. In fact, you know, any Craigslist or Facebook ad, somebody's gonna have one of these that they're getting rid of. I have a bigger one up here on the bench, but it just tears things up. All you need is this baby here. I have probably polished a thousand cars with this thing without any trouble. Yellow pad, white pad white rod, black rod. You can get stuff like this on Amazon and it's absolutely okay to use whatever and then just finish with the white. Always just finish with the white and you're in good shape. So hit the website for some polished cars, monklemikes.com, um, whatever other videos, things that I should do that my wife's going to say, you should have said, go get the polished cars at the website. So bam, there you go. All right.